Hello and welcome here to the Australian Fighting Championships. We are in China, Xi'an, China. I'm Matthew Pilios. Join us with Josh Warner and Josh. Unbelievable scenes here. It's the Australian Fighting Championships in a different country. Yeah, thanks, Matt. Absolutely thrilled to be here. As you mentioned, in a mere matter of moments, the Australian Fighting Championship will make Australian martial arts history and become the first Australian-based promotion to hold a fight card in international waters here in Xi'an, China. Congratulations to the AFC and the team for doing this. We're in a brand new stadium, the AFC Stadium. It was unbelievable to walk in and see the AFC logos outside the stadium. You can smell the fresh leather, this crowd, this cage, it's unbelievable. Let's talk about tonight, a huge card. Yeah, look, this is a really, really monumental fight when you think about it. Being selected to be the first fight of AFC 18 in Jian, China. And both these young ladies will be very, very nervous right now. Evening, we'll talk about the car throughout the evening. We welcome everybody once again to the AFC here in Jian, China. Not far from going to the center of the cage to John Dimicola. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live right here in Xi'an, China at the AFC MMA Club Stadium for the first ever AFC in international waters. Tonight is AFC 18 in China. My name is John Demacoli. It's an honor and a pleasure to be your MC for this evening. Tonight, a historical night of action as two countries join as one for a spectacular MMA event. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? I can't hear you, Xi'an. Are you ready? Let's start the night off, ladies and gentlemen. Bout number one, fighting out of the red corner, Muscle Man Toga. And Muscle Man Toga has been called out. Josh, very excited, John DeMicoli. And it's a fantastic night. History tonight. It is. We've actually got Zhu Lin on her way to the cage right now, so a little bit of an error with that one. But look, Zhu Lin, a uh, local fighter, Chinese fighter, would have so much pressure on her right now. I mean, she's fighting in front of an audience, a captive audience, that um, are very passionate, they're very committed to their local fighters, and she'd be feeling the pinch right now, Matt. Yeah, saw her warming up this morning, actually. She was doing a lot of grappling. Stand up, she, she probably looked like uh, was definitely favoured up more of a grappler and wrestler. Yeah, look, she, she's listed as a Muay Thai fighter, and judging by the shorts she's wearing right now, that's very Muay Thai. But at the same time, the Chinese fighters are always very well rounded, so expect Zoo to be comfortable with the fight standing, the grappling, the wrestling, wherever it goes. I think she'll be ready to go. And we welcome China to the AFC. It's great to be here, but it really, it's great to have them involved. Many Chinese fighters tonight. We know Zhu Lin's the first one. She's in great shape and it's a history making, not just night, but this is a history making fight, the first ever outside the country, yeah, Australia. Yeah. As I said, it's been a long time coming and I couldn't be more thrilled to be here with the AFC in the promotion's first international card. Ladies and gentlemen, her opponent, Musume Tajik Toga. And our Iranian fighter comes out, and here she is. And Josh, I've heard some very, very good things, really good stand up, uh, very good boxing, and loves throwing some knees. Oh, scary. I saw her hit mitts with Clay Amitagi. Um, a couple of days ago, and Clay is a beast of human being, one of the strongest guys I've ever seen, K1 specialist here in Australia. And when Masamea was hitting the pads, Clay's hands were moving like 14 or 15 inches. She hit so hard, her uppercut and the rising knee, as you mentioned, Matt. Zhu has got to stay away from that. It's going to be a very early night for her. Mixed martial arts fighting for females across the world is at an all time best. It's starting here tonight with the AFC. Uh, it's great to be here and a very, very excited. And you know what, it's gonna be interesting to see how she goes with the change of climate before we go to John the Pop. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to bout number one of the evening. Three by five minute rounds in the AFC flyweight division. When that belt told you any charge in centering is Mr. Greg Clenyans. Introducing first, 
fighting out of the red corner. She's a striker standing five feet, five inches tall, an official weight of 54.5 kilograms. Three wins, two losses. Fighting out of Beijing MMA in Beijing, China, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Lee. And across the cage, her opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, Trey, she's a striker, fighting five feet, four inches tall, an official weight of 54.5 kilograms. Making her way out of, out of the Gady Gym in Iran, ladies and gentlemen, Muscleman Tajik Toga. Round of a call, pause for Muscleman Tajik. Clint Clanners as well. The UFC Australian uh, ref. Great to have him in China. Michelle Kimberly, the AFC number one cage girl across uh, Melbourne, Australia, and. She's in China as well. What a fight this is going to be. History-making moment, Josh Warner. Yeah, we brought all the big people across here to China. Greg Clinion's one of the best referees in the world of martial arts. Michelle Kimberley been with the promotion for a little while now. As I said, Matt, super excited. We're about five seconds away from making martial arts history. This is going to be unbelievable. We welcome everybody to the Australian Fighting Championships, our first ever show outside Australia, AFC 18. Matt Pilios here with Josh Warner. And it is AFC round number one. Zhu Lin taking on Massima Togan, Josh Warner. Here we go, they touch him up. Can't wait to see what they're going to do. I think they're going to explode in the first few minutes, get some of that nervous tension out. And there you go, straight away. Body right. kick and right hand followed up right there, Matt. First clinch, Josh Warner. It's going to be interesting. Oh, and our Iranian fighter gets top position, Josh. Ex surprised by that. I mean, the takedowns there take it and a sweep straight away as we're talking. But I expect Massimo to want to keep this fight on the feet. And as you can see early on straight away, the fight's gone to the ground and Zhu has taken the dominant position early on. And our crowd getting very excited early for our Chinese fighter. She's on top in control. Got me out. And just, uh, just with our Iranian fighter as well, obviously a leggings, culture, uh, and, and religion uh, option as well, which has been approved by the AFC, which is fantastic. Absolutely, and we're supportive of all of those cultural um, elements that the fighters bring to the cage, so awesome. no news at all. Oh, back of the head. Yeah, the head. some ground and pound there. Was that the back of the head? Very interesting. Uh, the referee's going to talk to Zoo here. I mean, from our position here, that looked like a shot directly to the back of the head, and it was, as you can see. Let's see if uh, how Greg goes with the, the language, I suppose, uh, tra translation. Is there a communication breakdown? Some of our crowd really excited here. And obviously a first pause. And I think it feels take, like a point. He's taken a point, yeah. That's off the Chinese fighter. That, that's an, a look. The rest of the ref, I'm not going to ever dismiss what his decision he makes. So could you on screen right now as well. But usually you'd see a warning first. To, to, to lose a point that early could be pivotal in this fight. Wow, so what a start in his first historical AFC fight, our female fight. Zhu Lin has lost the point, and isn't Greg taking his uh, job very, very seriously tonight? Let's see what happens now, Josh. They're laying down the authority early for Greg Clinton's. Girls sort of shaping up right now, jockeying for position, trying to find distance, which is quite normal. Oh, good thrust kick by Zhu Lin as well. Oh, and a receipt. Wow. Big overhand right there. Pulls guard. Muscle now pulls guard and again takes the fight to the ground, which is directly against the advice that she was giving from her corner early in this fight. Greg Hans gets, well, gives an opportunity for uh, Massimo Togan to get up there. Yeah, I think she actually grabbed the, the leggings, which would be illegal, obviously, but that's going to be one of the things Greg's going to have to deal with here, given the anomaly of having this sort of uh, attire in the martial arts cage. What an unorthodox start for this first AFC fight. A crowd, they're coming into this new AFC stadium tonight. It's the first night of two. Big night tomorrow, big main event tonight. It's, uh, it's very, very exciting here. Both girls really filling out each other. And what a different crowd, uh, Josh Warner. Uh, very different than we're used to back at the Melbourne Pavilion, as you said earlier, Matt, but none, none less committed, very enthusiastic, quite loud, enjoying these two throwing down right now. Some really good kicks too. What I like about Muscle Mouse so far is, even though Zoo's maybe landing some of the cleanest shots, there's a receipt after every shot from Zoo, and eventually that's going to find its home. Massimo looks like she just wants to stand up and trade. We've got two levels up here. A dime at the Melbourne Pavilion in Australia. This is the AFC Pavilion. And uh, some similarities, that's for sure, Josh, in this stadium. Ah, fantastic venue. I mean, the, the multiple levels, as you said, packed house and watching a really competitive fight so far. With a few minutes left in this round, big uppercut. Good and right. right hands and the knee. The knee we spoke about, that rising knee from Massimo. Probably the most dangerous punch she has next to the uppercut. She just doesn't want to get in this clinch with Zulin. Uh, Zulin's stronger upper body. She's 
Uh, got her down a couple of times. Let's see what happens here, Josh. He's got like a bulldog sort of neck choke slash crank right now. Don't think he can finish from there, but opens up the midsection. So it was really technically sound by Massimo. Get uh, sorry, get Zoo to focus on the choke hold. It's trying to put in place, and then made a couple of knees when she's not expecting it. Yeah, Togan good with her knees. Let's see if she can take advantage of this position. Greg Clahan's giving us some warnings there, Josh. Yeah, uh, holding the cage, and look, that's quite normal. You, you try and get the yard uh, smoky through the referee when you've got his back to you. But again, Zoo takes the fight to the ground third time. She's been in top position. So in general sense, you'd think she's probably dominating this round. But as we know, Matt, lost a point earlier on. So is it a 9-9 round? We're late in this first round. Josh Warren had some ground and pound by Zoo Lin. And the Chinese fans liking this. That was good. Really good control. Got too high, though. And again, Muscle has been able to escape. So although she's had three iterations of her being on top, she's really done no damage with either of those positions of control. And late in this final round, both girls look a little bit tired. I mean, a lot of mm. adrenaline. First fight, big build up, Josh. It's warm in here. I'll be a huge adrenaline dump. And look, the sign for the, the less experienced martial arts fan, when the fighter starts to open their mouth and breathe through their mouth, makes their chin more susceptible to knockout for one, but it yes. does mean they're sucking in the big one. So, Zoo in particular right now oh, looks very right tired. And take more kicks like that. But as we said, oh, another sweep. sweep for the takedown. Fantastic. And this round. Very, very happy with their homegrown fighter, Josh Warner. Uh, look, they're educated martial arts fans, so they know right now four takedowns in this round. Uh, Masame hasn't really been able to do any damage so far. This is a zoo round, bar the point deduction. And a lot of people phone from Australia really enjoying a cage side here in the AFC Stadium. Yeah, former standout Muay Thai fighter Johnny Burke, a cage side here as well. Alex Oates also, uh, our sports journalist uh, and, and fight journalist from the Herald Sun, also cage side as this one late in the first round looks like it's a zoo stacking right now, but from that distance, you're not going to get any power behind those punches. So Massimo, relatively safe. Even if it looks uncomfortable, this is actually quite a good position for the Massimo to be in right now. Both girls recovering too, and Glenn Clans gets involved again. It drops down oh. for a heel hook, but that's a good And a kick there, just a late warning. And again, let's see how Greg goes with the language barrier here. But that was historically the first round done and dusted ever the AFC in outside Australia in Xi'an, China. And also we welcome uh, Michelle Kimberley's uh, second KGO AFC girl tonight as well. Matt, we're going to look at the instant replay here. As he mentioned, probably the most pivotal part of this round was that uh, back of the head shot, which cost Zoo a point early on. Four takedowns for Zoo. Some really good body kicks from Masamao. But again, it's hard to score this one because you, you feel as though Zoo won the round, but loses a point. Yeah, Togan landing some good strikes as we just saw, but it was the takedowns, wasn't it? Take away that first early point deduction, which I thought she was unlucky, Josh. Mm -hmm. um, it was all Zoo Lin with four very, very good takedowns. So exciting first round, and you know we saw both fighters exhausted late in that first round. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see how they come out now. Start of the second, it's about to reboost their energy with the uh, mid-round break. And just about to start this second round, AFC. And Josh, we scored that very close. Zhu Lin from China taking on our Iranian Masume Togan. And just a bit of water there on the ground. So it gives both girls a little bit of extra time to recover. We both felt they were very exhausted. It's very humid here. Again, it's a different climate. And it's great to be here in China. We welcome to all the viewers watching across the world the AFC, the Australian Fighting Championships. Yeah, let's call it a 9-9 round for round one. This is almost starting the fight from scratch, just being a little more exhausted than they were five to seven minutes ago. Expect the tempo just to be a tad slower here. Both girls, a lot more respect for each other now. That, you know, I think uh, Togan knows that she can be taken down at any good, a given point. And uh, Zhu Lin... Uh, doesn't want to be on the end of some of the strikes from Togan. Yeah, Togan's thrown a number of kicks. Most of the kicks she's thrown, Zoo's caught and taken her down. So Togan would have learned from that. At the same time, those body kicks for the, again, uh, more, more junior martial arts fan, they hurt and they take significant gas out of one system. So don't underestimate the impact that those kicks have had. And as you can see early on here, the footwork, the movement, the lateral movement from Zoo is pretty much gone. So yeah. I would hazard a guess and say she's almost spent early on in round two. Both fighters very, very flat footed, a very slow start to this second round. Oh, good good left hand. Good left hand by Massimo though. That's what she has to do here. Every time Zoo throws a strike, the receipt's got to follow it straight up. The group plan's asking both fighters to get a bit of a move on, but I think there's a bit of a language barrier from Zulin especially. 
I'm not really understanding what the English-speaking Greek fans are saying. Look at the determination, though, in Massimo Togan's eyes. Oh, she's, yeah, she's amped right now. I mean, I've watched her train for the last three days. She's calling Z1 now, as you can see. She wants this. She, she knows how big a platform AFC in GN China is, and she knows what a win can do for her career. So I'm not surprised by that. Zhu is, is slowly getting herself into this round, so she hasn't done a lot in the first couple of minutes here, but she has reserved some energy, so look for her to explode in the next 30 seconds. It's a brand new AFC cage they're fighting as well, never fought in before, made here in China, and this crowd really wanting both girls, oh, good left hand. Oh, open up strange. big time, but again, got overexcited, Zhu ducked in shot, and is now working the takedown against the fence. Masumiao, I spoke to her a couple of days ago, significant Muay Thai background, black belt Taekwondo, black belt karate. Wow. So her stand-up is serious, and this is a good tactic by Zhu right now. The closer you get, the harder it is for Masumiao to land any significant strike, and she's winning the, the, the clinch and grappling exchange right now. She's had great success again so far. Also, Josh coming up some amazing fights as well as the, as the two girls battle. Uh, as well, huge card here at AFC China tonight. Yeah, I'm, I'm stoked for the six fights we have to come. And if there's anything like the first one started here, Pat Crowder in for a very entertaining night. The closest seasoned veteran uh, wrestling coach next to uh, Amin Yakubi, uh, a good friend of yours, Josh, takes on the Japanese fighter, uh, Russell and Ula Imbek, uh, which is going to be a beauty next fight. It's the two girls trying to grapple. Takedown, Bulldog choke, Khan Offley style. Masumao gets her first takedown of the fight. And she's going to try and roll her body weight over here to get Zhu on her back and then maintain uh, a, a good ground control. However, fantastic grappling by Zhu. Gets into a half guard position and once again has top position which always scores points on the judges' scorecards. She's just so powerful. That leg strength by Zhu Lin, really. Look, look at the quads there. It took the words out of my mouth. Significant leg strength. Manages her posture really well, but she's getting a little bit high here right now again, so she's going to have to lower her body position. If she moves her body right now, she can take the back of Massimo and start throwing punches. Oh, oh she kicked her in the backside. She kicked her in the bum. That uh, extraordinary really should have jumped on there and uh, very surprised with that, Josh. Um, oh, I've she... never seen that before. You talked about a night of first, Matt. First um, Australian promotion to fight internationally. Oh, the first you. time I've seen someone kick their opponent in the backside. Maybe Zulin's just learning uh, the ground game. Um, you know, you really should have taken her back. Maybe that the language huge barrier. Huge chance. And again, Masamao was almost turtled. Big ground and pound. Throw those hooks in. Give referee Clendon's really an excuse to stop this fight. That, that's, that's a really big mistake from an inexperienced Zhu Lin. Zhu Lin is absolutely exhausted. I mean, she's struggling to keep both in a, in a normal fight stance. Uh, you know, it's a it's tough sport. Five minute first round. Uh, when you're late in this second round and, and you know the uh, activity hasn't been overly busy in this second round as we talk about our next fight it's going to be unbelievable huge card tonight a couple more chinese fighters taking on aussies it's going to be fantastic and you spoke earlier our main event this crowd is building up and it's a very exciting night it is a huge main event coming up right now this fight in particular matt though this is to be won right now if we call it a 9-9 first more than likely yes the winner of this round takes a huge advantage into round three so muscle has been the more active fighter zoo's had some ground control an incredibly hard round to score again here in round two very hard it's going to finish strongly in this second round well that's a good point you got your chance now the judges often remember the last few things they see in each round so a couple of big strikes to take down now and you steal this round and are very close to winning the afc's debut fight in gn china mixed martial arts too we know the judges hate seeing fighters fatigued zoo then really struggling at the moment to be very aggressive active as our second round finishes and judges will have a yeah. bit of work on their head. That's a close one. It's one of those rounds you hate to be a judge. We'll look at some replays on our screen. Yeah, look, I, I think Zhu probably won. Uh, sorry, Masame probably won that round purely on output. Um, and disappointing, again, because Zhu had such a dominant position with that turtled back control and chose not to choke, not to punch, but to instead kick her opponent um, in the backside. Uh, you know, a, a really even round. Some good exchanges early. And, uh, you know, some good strikes there by, by Massimo Togan. Yeah, Massimo definitely controlled the striking. Her range was better. She was more active. She set up her punches and put a few combinations together, which will score points. But again, the most important part of that round was although Massimo got the takedown, Zhu quickly switched, got dominant ground control, both in the mount position, then also with the back control while her opponent was turtled, but just couldn't follow up, couldn't do any damage. And that might see her, unfortunately, lose this round. Yeah, not understanding why she threw that kick to the backside there. 
but uh, a very even for, uh, second round and we're going to go into this third and final round uh, great start to AFC and this one's going to be an absolute beauty third round fight is on the line yeah I reckon the judges will probably be almost in their own heart of hearts be hoping for someone to stop this fight because actually trying to, to judge this to give a score it's going to be harder to pick than a broken nose to be honest Fantastic to be here in China. We welcome everybody viewing history tonight. The Australian Fighting Championships are outside Australia for the first time in history. It's the 18th show, first ever in China and outside Australian country, Josh. And here we go. Both these young ladies now have got a chance to win the first ever international AFC fight. It's very close right now. Whoever takes the ascendancy in this round might just win this fight. Again, now Ronian in the red and black. It's at Masamu Togen and Zhu Lin, homegrown Chinese in the blue Muay Thai shorts. Good thrust kick again. This is better since Zhu's much lighter on her feet, moving around well, and has executed the first couple of dominant strikes. So this is better. Maybe she's been able to get a bit of a buzz of energy based on the, the, the noise this crowd's making for her right now. You can Good see though, kick. Masamu Zhen answering with an inside leg kick. Again, her lateral movement is far better. The way that she's rolling her shoulders, her head movement, her hands nice and high. Look at her cork in that right hand. It's waiting for a pocket to land on the chin of Zoo. Zoo lands a kick there. Bit the second oh, one. bang! Left hand, big left hand by Masamel. Yeah, that one got her attention. Zoo Lin can't look down. She looked down at something, Josh. It's the inexperience, Matt. I mean, this is one of the first, well, this is the biggest fight of her career so far. Big crowd, big promotion. She's just making a few amateur mistakes, and unfortunately, I'm just worried that might cost her in this one, because if she gets, if she eats another big right hand like she did earlier, this one's going to be all over. Yeah, definitely. Oh, good side kicks, so really good side kicks. Landing kicks or punches in the solar plexus now will exhaust your opponent quickly and again give you the ascendancy in what is probably going to be a pivotal round three. Togan got a, uh, with a good right there as she tried to get out of the pocket. zulie has got to throw some strikes. She's got to mix up her strikes, not just kicks. Yeah, and Masamiya is changing angles, changing levels. Again, she's got all the makings of a really technical striker. Just hasn't been able to land that big punch or kick as of yet in this fight. But with four minutes to go, Plenty of time for her to finish this one. Zhu Lin is absolutely exhausted. She's doing her best. She's still throwing kicks. And the, the Iranian uh, coaching staff going berserk. Yeah, they're screaming her on. You know, they, they know that this fight is still hers to be won. So right now they're saying, you know, just push through. Push through that pain barrier. Push through that exhaustion. Win this round. Win this fight. Good inside leg kick. The girls throwing a lot of inside leg kicks now, which again will stall the movement of their opponent for the next few minutes. It's been the boxing of Masami Togan that's really got her the second round and I think she's in front this round, Josh. She's calling her opponent on, so then she's done a bit of taunting, which I like as well. The crowd will get into it. If her opponent falls into the trap, bang! Like I said in there, big left hand followed up. Good check though by Zoo. And both girls really have to secure this fight. It's still there to be one for me right now. First round was close, probably 9-9. Nine, nine. Second round was very close, could go either way. But look at Zoo, barely moving. She's actually, her feet are in concrete right now in the center of the cage. It's a really bad place to be. She's throwing a lot of the same kicks, Josh. Does she go for a takedown? She's just trying to yeah, sort of save this fight. Absolutely, man. I think that's fantastic advice. If I was in Zoo's corner, I'd be saying shoot, keep the fight in the ground. Even if you smother her, if you can get dominant position for two yes. and a half minutes, you win this round, probably win this fight. Very exciting here in Xi'an, China. Late in the third and final round, first fight of the AFC, and it's going to be Togan possibly being our first ever winner, or could it be Zhu Lin? Very, very close on the judges' scorecard. Oh, good left hand by Masamao. Again, she's starting to find her range. She wants their opponent to bring it, but, but Zhu's just too exhausted to engage in that striking battle. Yeah, Zhu uh, came in and she ate her right when she came in from Togan, that's for sure. A bit of Muhammad Ali hand movement and then the inside leg kick again. If you notice there, Zhu tried to catch that leg kick. So it's Masamao right now. Switch, head kick, fight over. Yeah, Zhu Lin needs to be more offensive. You can even see some of of the crowd, the homegrown fans, screaming for it in some punches or kicks. They, they know that the fight's still there to be won, but it's really, it's almost hard to watch how tired this, this young lady is right now. And she'll learn a lot from this regardless of the result, but Masamao definitely taking the ascendancy in this one. She's a fresher fighter. She's thrown some really good inside leg kicks and a couple of big left hands. And for me, she's winning this round, and it'll probably give her the nod in this fight. For all the fans watching across the world, Josh, it's a warm stadium here tonight. The climate's different, different humidity. It's hot. It's actually hot in here, and sort of the smoke and so forth from the building as well. 
it, it's quite draining for the fighter, so I'm not surprised it's a little bit exhausted. But again, the adrenaline having dumped being the first fight of AFC 18 would have also been a big factor in his fight. Masamao, though, has been the fresher fighter for the better part of the 15 minutes so far. This one just about to finish. A great start to the night for AFC 18. Good check. Again, Zoo checking really, really well, which would indicate that the legs are quite short. And not far from our judges. Make a decision. Exciting times here. The Chinese trainers telling a fighter, good luck, counter left again by Togan. Yeah, and she's been great with that. That's been the standout point for me, is her ability to counter yeah. both the kicks and punches. And she's definitely landed the cleanest shot. You can see the redness on Zoo's face. Half of that is a bit of exhaustion. And there we go, fight over. Great show of respect. And both girls absolutely exhausted. And the crowd still building in. Very excited with that one. And we'll wait for our judge to make a decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we've gone to the judges' scorecards. Your winner by majority points decision. Yeah. Blue corner, yeah. Masumi Toga! And there we have it, Masumi Togan getting the chocolates in the first fight, AFC 18, Xi'an China International Waters. 